Good morning. On today's lecture, I'll cover prime numbers and how to find them. Uh, as you know, a prime number has only two factors. One is one and other one is itself. Um, if we have a bigger number, we all know few four prime numbers, two, three, five, seven, those are the prime numbers. But what, how do we find out bigger than that number? Okay, if a bigger number is a prime number or not, how do we find it out? Okay. First, let me write down those prime numbers that we already know, the numbers and their factors, how many factors they have, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, one has only one factor. Two always can be written as one times two, so there are two factors. Three can be written as one times three, so one and three, two factors. Four, it can be written as one times four, and then 2 times 2. If you see, there are more than two factors. 1, 4, and another one is 2. So 1, 2, and 4. 5 can be written as 1 times 5. So two factors, 1 times 5. 6 can be written as 1 times 6, or 2 times 3. Two sets of pairs. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 6. There are four factors. 1, 2, 3, and 6. And 7 can be written as 1 times 7. So 1 and 7, they are the factors. Okay, this is how we find out um, all the factors. Now, you see that any number can be written as the multiple, uh, the product of two factors. 1 is 1 and another one is itself. 2, 1 times 2, 3, 1 times 3. So, when we have this, any number that has only this, like 2, 3, five and seven this four are having two factors each and we call them prime numbers and over here whenever we are looking at this four and six okay four has more than two factors so this four and six it has four factors three factors four factors any numbers that has more than two factors more then two factors, we call them composite number, composite numbers. By definition of this two, one is automatically disqualified to be either a prime number or composite number. So we don't consider that. Okay. So less than one to 10, we have this um, prime numbers, two, three, five, and seven. Long time back in Greek, there was this mathematician. Uh, he called uh, he was called Eratosthenes, and he find a way to discover all the prime numbers there are. It was a lengthy process, but very effective process. Okay, he he find out he wrote down all the numbers uh, such as this one. I did one to hundred, and then what he did, he circle out all those prime numbers. I did this one for you. Uh, two, three, five, seven. These are the first four prime numbers from one to ten. One is not qualified as prime number, so cancel it out. Two, four, two, three, five, seven. Then what did he do? He cancel out all the multiples of two. Two, then twelve, four, eight, six. All this he cancel out. When he cancel out all of them, whatever the number left, you can see that highlighted and circle with green uh, circle. These are all the prime numbers. From 1 to 100, there are 25 prime numbers. You can, you can make one of the uh, grid like that and try this one out. Cancel out 1 and circle this 4 numbers, 2, 3, 5, and 7. And cancel out all the numbers that are multiple of this. Then you'll find out all the prime numbers from 1 to 100. Again, there are 25 prime numbers from 1 to 100. Now, let's think about a bigger number than that. Okay. Think about... 100. How do we find out all the, uh, if 100 is a prime number or not? We already know 100 is a uh, composite number, but let's see it, it, how can we find it out. Now, since every number is a multiple, uh, is a, a multiple of 1 and uh, itself, it, it's divisible by 1 and itself, so we are not going to take 1. We are trying to find out any other number than 1 and 100. It can be 2, it can be 3, and up to 99 okay any number if it divides 100 then 100 is not a prime number it's a composite number 
this is a lengthy process okay let's try to find out another way all the factors of 100 again 1 times 100 a, any number can be written like that and then 2 times 50 then so it doesn't go by 3 4 times 25 then 5 times 20 and lastly 10 times 10 so we cancel out this one since all the numbers are divisible by 1 and 100 okay so all the factors of 100 are 1 then 2 4 5 10 20 25 50 and 100 and we cancel out 1 and 100 if any one of this number divides 10, 100 then 100 is not a prime number since it's already had two factors now another number will make more than two factors it's going to be a composite number but i want you to concentrate over here see that 2 times 50 50 can be written as 2 times 5 times 5 and then 4 can be written as 2 times 2 and 25 can be written as 5 times 5 then this is 5 20 can be written as 2 times 2 times 5 and 10 and 10 can be written as 2 times 5 times 2 times 5 what that tells you you can see that every mult every factors that we find it out over here there are only two prime factors 2 and 5 okay rest of them are composite factors see that therefore 100 can be expressed as if you look at this any one of this 2 squared times 5 squared that means express 100 as its prime factors and prime factors are 2 and 5 now if 100 is divisible by 50 since 50 is a multiple of 5 or 2 then if we divide it by 2 and it's divisible then we can say that we don't need to divide uh, divide 100 by 50 only 2 and 5 will do that lead us to the third method third method is find out all the prime numbers less than square root of 10 now square, uh, square root of 100 now square root of 100 we already know it's 10 it's 10 so square root of 100 is 10 so all the prime numbers less than less than 10 is 2 3 5 and 7 so we don't need to try to divide 100 by all the factors including prime and composite only the prime factors less than square root of 100 that's this based on this one okay and we can see that 100 is divisible by 2 so therefore i don't need to do any more okay i have already 1 and 100 and then right now i have 2 so 100 is not a prime number it's a composite number Try with a bigger number, okay? Let's say 2,561. If I take the square root of that, it's approximately 50.6. You can try that with the calculator. Square root 2561, okay? That's square uh, 50.6. And if we go back to the sieve of Eratosthenes, then we can see this is 50. And all the fact, all the prime numbers less than 50 are this. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, there are 15 prime numbers less than 50. Okay, uh, so if we try one by one, then we'll find out a number, prime numbers 13, which divides 2,561. Okay, let's try that, 2, 5, 6, 1. I did that before, so you can try that too. So 2,561 divided by 13, that gives me 197. So we can say that 2,561 is not a prime number, it's a composite number because it already has two factors, one and itself. And we find out this one and as a matter of fact, this one as well, 13, 197. So 2,561 is not a prime number. There are other ways to find it out, find out the prime numbers. Okay, there is one called Marsen prime. Okay, French scholar Martin uh, Marsen, he find out a way, M and the formula goes like that, two to the power N minus one. This is a very interesting uh, way to find out the prime numbers. There are, until now, 49 Marsen prime numbers. Okay, and 49th one is the largest prime number ever found. Okay. 
48 number is um, 2 to the power 57 million 885,161 minus 1 and then the next we can see that how big that number is I'm not sure I'm sure I'm definitely sure your calculator cannot find this one okay and the 49th one is 2 to the power 74 million 207,281 and minus 1 okay this two prime numbers this is the largest known prime number till now today okay uh, find out by um, um, a, an American mathematician named uh, Curtis Niles Cooper. He is a, a professor in um, University of Missouri. He find these two prime numbers. Okay, and these are the uh, latest one, and this is the largest. Okay, and. Uh, not all the time this is going to give you the uh, prime numbers. There are some other formulas such as uh, n square plus n plus 41. It gives you a lot of uh, uh, prime numbers. Then n square minus n plus 41. That also give you a lot of prime numbers. Okay. Then there are like others. I'm just writing down some, some of the formulas. You can tr find out searching in the internet. Okay. Uh, that's 97. These are all the, there are some more, all the, all the uh, formulas gives you prime numbers, but not all the prime numbers. This is still a mystery. There, there was no one formula find out to find out all the prime numbers there are. If you can find it out, that's going to be a great discovery in mathematics. Okay. Try that. Try these formulas. Try this way. Okay. And see how, how, how far can you go? Okay. Can you find out the 50th? prime numbers okay and i hope you like it thank you very much see you in the next video thank you